Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. What are we doing today? Um, we're gonna take a few questions from video comments and answer them. Yes, I scoured scoured the videos for uh, questions. I have a way I can search for that and I tried to pull some. Uh, I scoured, yeah. Well, I didn't scour, I just hit, like, clicked a few buttons really. But, <laughs> but uh, picked a few questions out and this is gonna be like maybe a little series we do every now and then. Um, not gonna do like 20 questions like I normally do, but we're gonna do five, five, five people had questions here. So let's go. Okay, question number one is from Jane. Dear God, Lonnie, do you have <laughs> Would you That's a little strong. That's how I imagine her saying it. Oh, okay. Dear God, Lottie, <laughs> do you have that camera on your head? How tall are you? It's like we're floating at the top of the shed. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did have the camera on top of my head. Where? Shut in the gear. Where's the little thing? Oh, yeah. It's this thing right here. This. Here. You attach the. You put the GoPro on it right here. Yeah. And then you put it on your, on your noggin. Don't do that. You're going to mess up your hair. It's like a jock strap for your noggin. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah <laughs> i mean it works really well i must candace right. i must look like a total moron a thong. <laughs> <laughs> you can also be a crotch cam <laughs> uh, <laughs> i might need a little i might need a little uh more adjustment room to be able to wear that <laughs> down there <laughs> but, yeah i do wear this on my head and uh how to do I look goofy wearing that canvas walking around? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never told me. I never even asked you before. Um, well, it doesn't bother me. This is a very strange work environment, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she also asked how tall. I'm only, I'm six one, not that tall. Six I, one and a half. The, the thing is, if you've watched the videos for a while. Are you still six one? When was the last time you measured? I haven't measured in a long time. You might be starting to shrink, you know. I could be. Since you're getting old and senile. Yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with you. Um, what's gonna, oh, probably the reason it looks so weird is because if you've been watching for a while, I've always held the camera at like this this height for a long time, and then when it's on top of my head, it goes up to this height right here. And I height? angle height height whatever I don't know. Is height the word? Height height height. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Thanks for the question, Jane. Next question. <laughs> uh, next question is from Wrong. Love your packing videos. Notice that you weigh your packages after you pack. What do you use for a weight when you post the listing? That's a good, this is a really good question for Candace to take because she does this every, like that's one of the things when she was listing that she would used to have to get used to have to ask me every single listing which is cool because she was learning but yeah t tell us how you do it when you're so, making a listing this is my little area over here where i take pictures and this is my little scale where i weigh and as you can see i have my little supply of boxes over <laughs> here of all the different sizes so Take picture, snap, snap, snap. <laughs> Weigh item. Fold out the box. Make sure it's going to fit in there. Yeah, that, he'll fit in there pretty yeah, he'll, good. Yeah, he'll fit in there. Yeah. Weigh it with the box. That's about five ounces with the box. I always round up to six because of packing material. Yeah. I always round up to the next ounce or so, depending on where it is. And really, I'll interject there. Um, there's really no difference between six ounces and eight ounce. You have breaks on first class package. Uh, zero to four is four ounce rate. Um, over four to eight is eight ounce rate. So if it's six ounces, it's going to be the same as if it was eight ounces. Um, and then 8.1 or whatever to 12 ounces is the same rate. And then 12.1 to 16, same rate. So, so, but if you're like me and you can't remember all that, <laughs> just go up to, <laughs> just add some in for the packing. Right. For the bubble wrap and stuff yeah. like that. Yep. So, that's and, it. 
And a lot of times, don't you like memorize like how much these boxes weigh too sometimes? Yeah, this is two ounces, I know. The big one is eight, this one is six. I don't remember what this one is. Four. So like two, four, six, eight. There you go. Yeah, she kind of knows. Uh this this box is crazy heavy. It's huh? real heavy. I mean I I mean I Which like the box. We we didn't have these and so we wound up ordering them because of all the action figures. Yeah. Because this box weighs eight ounces. Just just to get the box out the door, eight ounces. That's yeah. a lot. It's a good box, but I don't love the weight. So yeah. Good question though, and it's you know like as something Candace, Candace still sometimes she'll ask me, she's like, hey, can what is this going to be? Because like some things if are going to go really close, yeah, like trying to get it in under a certain right. Sometimes she'll sh she'll show me one that's like 15.7 ounces, and she'd be like, can you make this happen? I'm like, yeah, it's fine. And if I have to, I'll cut a little flap, cut a flap off, the I'll, box. I'll go, not, not the whole flap, but like a little piece of flap off or something. You know, or sometimes I'll say no, one to two yeah. pounds priority or whatever. Yeah. But good question, though. Probably a few a week I have to ask you, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's less and less all the time, though. All right. All right. Next question is from Silver Hair Slacker. Stacker. Stacker. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's yes, staying. That's no. Todd. That's I know him. It's Todd. Know. It's staying in. <laughs> Silver Hair Slacker. I like it. Let's go with that. I'm so sorry, Todd. <laughs> it's late and I'm tired. Silver hair slacker. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. This question is said in the I sold a hat voice. I have a question. <laughs> I know you have covered this in past videos, but with the volume you sell, this must be tough. Here it is. What percentage of buyer questions do you answer about items you have for sale? Maybe now with Candace on board, you answer more now? Thanks. That's a question for you. Um, uh, okay. I don't answer a lot of questions I get are still from YouTube viewers and I don't answer, uh, especially with the new policy. Uh, I don't chit chat in eBay questions. So I like to keep, I like to answer ones that are directly about an item for sale. And also of course, um, anybody that's bought something those take priority if somebody's bought something well now it's not a, a maybe kind of thing now it's customer service somebody that's actually bought and they may have a problem that i have to put a fire out or something like that those i'll always answer um the thing some of the other ones i don't answer to be honest um i'm really really bad at the messages and the messages get so it gets so clogged up to be honest with like youtube comments and stuff like from viewers they're just saying hey and things like that that it just becomes a big old garbled mess for me so i'm i'm still not good at it candace doesn't do it uh she does the email stuff yep but really like it it still not good I'll, I'll be honest, uh, Silver Hair Slacker, it's still not good. And just a reminder again, um, if you send a question on eBay not pertaining to an eBay item listed, you're not going to get a response because that's against eBay policy. Oh, I did have uh, with, uh, this is not a question, I counted it as one of the five, but I guess we're just going to throw it in here uh, as part of Silver Hair Slacker's oh uh, <laughs> yeah it kind of goes hand in stackers hand. i'm sorry i'm saying it too i'm saying slacker too it's silly me <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a mistake yeah we're tired yeah um so this is actually a question to give you an example of a type of question i get sometimes uh this is one of the quality questions i got today you want to read it candace okay now bear in mind this question is about a comic book that is priced at seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Go ahead. Yes, this was a question sent on eBay. Today. Today. Can you tell me more about the condition of this comic? Is it complete? Are there any missing pages? Is there anything cut out of it? Are there any tears? Is there any writing anywhere in the book? Are there any stains or water damage? Is the cover firmly attached to both staples? 
Is the centerfold firmly attached to both staples? Thank you. Okay, so my reply, this is like, this might be the one of the best people in the world. Could be somebody I would have business with in the in the future a bunch. But all I read when I read that that question was don't don't sell to me. That's all I saw is don't sell to me. And this is the kind of person that really needs to buy their comic books in person. Right. They need to they need to look at it, feel it, smell it, touch it, open it, examine it. Check the staples in it. Everything. They they need all that. I'm not doing any of that. So I did reply and I I was I thought I was polite but firm. I said, I simply said, um, nine questions, question mark. And I said, I think you need to find another seller. Thanks, Lonnie. <laughs> and he, he, he did send me a reply back saying that this is all information you should have had in your listing anyways. I think I will take your advice to find another seller. So I was a little, I probably shouldn't have answered at all. But I just thought it was so ridiculous. Sometimes I get a little out of line. So I was out of line there. So maybe I shouldn't answer more questions. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely got out of line. I did think that was humorous, though. And if this is a viewer, I don't know if it is. I, I, I would hope it isn't a viewer. But if it is a viewer, I apologize for getting out of line with you. That was a... Uh, it was out of line. I shouldn't have said anything. should have just blocked you. Okay. All right, one last question from Flippin' with Amy. Do you have a camping YouTube channel, or will you start one? Um, we actually um, had a second channel, Garage Flips, um, for garage sale videos. And um, so we made a decision to turn that into our travel channel. And um, the garage sale videos are going to be on Shed Flips now. So everything related to reselling, picking is going to be on garage flips. No, shed flips. Shed flips. <laughs> Fired. And then um, we took garage flips and changed it to the getaway gang. Getaway gang. Right here. Yeah. So this is a brand new sort of channel that has 82,000 subs. Yeah. And falling. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that, this morning, is. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see, see me? <laughs> here we go. So yeah, this is the Getaway Gang channel. It used to be called, it, as a matter of fact, if you search Garage Flips right now, it'll still pull up this channel. It's the Getaway Gang. Yeah, and so. if you were sub to Garage Flips and all of a sudden are wondering why you're sub to the Getaway Gang, that's why. <laughs> right, we have, we only have right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, Six. six videos about that and the rest of it is all like garage sale stuff and whatnot and other reselling stuff uh yeah but if you're if you weren't sub to garage flips go ahead and sub and check out the um the garage sale videos that you didn't see yeah there's some good ones yeah there's some really good videos on there yeah there's some real good ones and it, it yeah it it was kind of crazy for me to start doing the daily vlog on shed flips and had start another channel and and then stop uploading to garage flips as much when that was the bigger channel and that I, I don't know and it honestly does weird stuff like that all the time the pandemic had a lot to do with what i had plans the pandemic kind of wrecked in 2020 my plan in 2020 was to put tons of garage sale content on garage flips tons of it and i ain't going to any garage sales <laughs> so that so then i found myself uploading these daily vlog type things to shed flips while garage flips stayed dormant and so when we started getting into this whole rv thing and going camping and all that stuff we're like well i want to do a channel about that let's just let's just name let's just change the name and the subject and all that so hey see what happens i don't know it might be a mistake but uh I will. we are it's done it's done <laughs> it's done okay so if you're one if you're wondering what happens when you change uh like vastly change the theme of your youtube channel um you go to losing 547 subs in the last 28 days and every time 
every time I upload another video, I lose more. So I think that bleeding is gonna continue for a few months, six months, something like that. And hopefully the tide will turn and we'll start to gain again. Uh, although all we really care about is views on that and uh, having yeah. fun and making videos and going traveling and stuff, so. Yeah. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this I have, one. I have a question. What's your question? I see you have the crawfish app pulled up. Yeah. Are we getting crawfish? No. <laughs> no, I did have the crawfish app pulled up. I just installed it actually. Uh, Ryan over at, what? Ryan, uh, just uh, looking for live, live crawfish. Ryan over at Thrift Mine was asking me about like how much crawfish costs and stuff like that. Cause he, uh, he watches this Cajun guy, I think on TikTok or Instagram or something. Look how cool this app is. It pulls them up and shows you the price. What? Oh, okay. So, wow, this it's cheaper than I thought. Yeah. It's not even three bucks Let's a pound. Let's look at right now. Which tomorrow is Wednesday when they're on sale at the place we like to go. We haven't had crawfish yet this year. They've been real expensive. But anyway, thank y'all very much for watching. We'll talk to y'all again soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.